Hi guys, second video of the day. Um, my last video was my foundation routine. The, um, now I'm going to just do a quick makeup on the eye. So yeah, here we go. First things first, you can prime your eye with either the Prime Potion or the e.l.f. one and I think this is brilliant. I've seen loads of reviews on YouTube in the States, Canada, everywhere else. And um, yeah, this one is just as good and it's cheaper. So yeah, really, really like that one. So yeah, I'll prime my eye lid first. <coughs> and what I want to do with a flat brush, just like that. And this is from the e.l.f. Studio line and it's the C one, the foundation one. And all I want to do is just do one quick wash over the lid and with my MAC palette I'm just going to use Brulee there and I'll hit the pan there so I love this colour. It's such a lovely skin tone, fresh colour and it's lovely for all over wash. Just put that all over and it's so much easier as well if you put this on your eyelid when you do want to put your other darker colours, especially on the outer V, it's easier to blend because obviously you've got a base there. So just quickly do that one. So there you go, there's that. And then next, what I might do is use my new e.l.f. Uh, let me see, eyeliner and shadow stick. So this is new to me, you guys. So I'm going to be using it now. Obviously one end is the base colour, which is just there. And the other end is the liner, which is there. It's in the brown. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this brown first. And I'm just going to smoke out the eyelid here. So just pull your skin just slightly. It, does, it can be rough obviously you're going to smudge it out and put other colours over it anyway. Just run it along. This is very creamy. It's lovely to glide on. Absolutely lovely. And yeah, so just put that on top of the eyelid quickly. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because you're going to be putting other colours on top anyway. run it along. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, I like that. And then with your same brush again, Z brush, I'm going to go in with, uh, what colour shall I use today? I think I'm going to use All That Glitters, which is this one just here. Let's just do a quick swatch for you. It's lovely. Can you see that? Sorry about my lighting. You have asked to see my makeup collection and I will share it with you guys but first I do need to go to Ikea to get some more storage because obviously I'm buying more and I'm running out of space. My big vanity um, pine setup here is overloaded so I do need to go and get some more stuff from Ikea for storage. And when I will do that and set it all up, I will show you guys. I promise you that I will. So hopefully it will be in the next couple of weeks that we go down. So yeah, just put all that glitters all over the lid there. Can you see that colour? It's lovely. Really, really nice. Real pretty. Anyway. Oh, God. Excuse me. Haven't had a drink, honestly. With a contour elf brush which is just there can you see that it's a lovely little brush this one I'm going to go in with let me see where is it there it is the I think that's Omega or is it not uh, no it's not it's wedge actually just this one here wedge my contour brush just go in and with the outer V just put some there we will be blending. Just want to give yourself a little bit of a socket there. And because I do have quite small eyes, I have got to go quite a bit higher to try and make myself have a deeper crease, if that makes sense. I've been watching loads of videos on it over the last couple of months on how to try and get 
because I have quite hoody small eyes. What that means is I've got quite a small lid there. Some people have quite a nice big lid and they can do the real big look with a nice crease. But obviously I've got to try and make mine up my crease because I haven't really got to find one there. I've got how lovely wedge is. I don't use wedge that much. I use more cork which is lighter which is that's cork that's wedge can you see that there the difference between them there is quite a bit of difference actually to them let's just go in there in your sockets can you see that so far guys i hope you can and with the 217 from mac which i think everybody should buy this brush because it's fabulous I am going to go in now with cork, the light one that I showed you, and just blend. It's lovely this brush. This is my second one that I've had now, and this is the new one that I'm using. My old one, I'll use it more for pigments and stuff, because I don't mind that one getting a bit tatty. See, this is a real nice smoky look, but it's not too much because obviously with my pale skin, if I go in a bit deeper, then obviously it does wash me out quite a lot. This is why I was so keen on the new Champelle collection from MAC because it was specialised for pale skin, just like myself. So, yeah, can you see that, guys? hope you can there. Uh, yeah, so there's that, and with the same brush again, just wipe it off with a baby wipe, always have a baby wipe to hand, you can always wipe it off, go back in with a brulee, and just sweep that under your brow bone there. Just under your brow bone. And a bit more brulee, I'm just going to put that near my tear duct. And with my, let me see, with my Ruby Millen, can you see that there? It's just the angled liner brush. I'm going to go in with the wedge and just put that underneath, probably three quarters of the way in. I don't want to make my eye look smaller than what it is. Can you just see, I'm just going to about there. And again with this side. Can you see that? Right, and then with the 24-7 Urban Decay that you get with the Naked palette. I'm going to go with the black actually. I was going to go with the brown, but I'm going to go with the black. I'm just going to line the inside of my lids here. And normally with small eyes, you don't try not to line it with black because it does enclose your eyes a bit more but I'm going to add that little bit of depth to it today so I feel like doing it just blink real hard and it will go up the top even though I've put some up there on this side can you see the difference it's made And with, I think, black tie, which is that one just here, I'm going to go in with the same angle brush, the Ruby Millen one, that I use the wedge, and I'm just going to lightly go just on the outer of my eye. Can you see that there? Just makes it look a bit more slant. I'm going to try and put this video on tonight as well, you guys, so I hope you can, you can see it. Please tell me your thoughts and please keep commenting me because it's lovely to hear because I feel that no one watches it and if you guys don't watch it, there's no point in me making it really. Right, so for the lashes, the Rimmel, which I'm not, still not 100% sure on this one. 
if it does make them grow or not, I don't know. Just tilt your head back just slightly. No lashes on today, I don't think. Oh, I have to go for an extra run tomorrow because of my cheesecake. I'm running an hour every day on my treadmill, so I'm doing about seven miles a day. And I've just entered the 10k, the race for life. i done it last year, but i done the 5k. So I'm really pushing myself this year to try and get extra, extra toned and fit. So yeah, like I said, I've done seven miles today and now I've just eaten roast pork cheesecake and I feel absolutely sluggish <laughs> so there's that's it for the eyes and what I'm going to do is someone asked me on my video on one of my videos what lip gloss I'll be wearing I will comment below and it's my new favourite one it's the Glam Shine by L'Oreal the Cheryl Cole advert one and this one is in 405 Nude Glow and it goes really really nice like a champagne-y kind of peachy one and it's love this can be lovely in summer no lip liner can you see that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, not with the Studio Fix, it's with the Elf one. There's my little girl just coming. Charlie, come here. Come here. Excuse me a minute. Come here, baby. Come here. Here, for you guys that haven't seen her, I'm going to introduce you again to her. There she is. Go, hi, Charlie. Say hi. You smell. Have you just had a drink? Have you just had a drink? Go lay down. She's a darling. So yeah, as I said, the elf fix one. And all you do is just pull your hair back. Two sprays. And done. Um, set. So yeah, that's my um, eye one. I hope you guys like it. It's just a quick tutorial so for the eyes and that. So I'll do try and do a close-up now for you guys. Just to try and see... So excuse me while I tamper with the camera.